Elixir. The secret of the eternal path, a prize sought by the sovereigns of old. Among them was the first emperor of the Jin, who lusted for immortality. The result of his quest to obtain the forbidden medicine was a catastrophe. The elixir's power proved overwhelming. And in the years following the dynasty's demise, it continued to exert a shadowy influence on conflicts and political machinations. Many moons pass, and the Han Empire faces its final days. In these dark times, Elixir once again threatens to become the catalyst that awakens the dragons lying dormant across our land. Bear witness to the power of your younger brother. The world shall soon bask in the majesty of the Yellow Heaven. Bring prosperity for all. Bring prosperity for all! Thank you for saving me. I'm glad you've recovered from your injuries. I found you, bearer of the eternal elixir field. Finally. After all this time, my wish has been fulfilled. As long as we have you, victory is still possible. Consider that a talisman of protection. It may just save your life one day. I cannot allow this travesty to continue. Let us depart. Dogs of the Han Court, are you? <laughs> Any who oppose us shall know only the end of our blades! Damn it! What is that power? I. General of Man, brother of the great sage mentor! I shall not betray my brother's trust!
spot. Very well. Now, the village is safe. By my hand. Why are you- You shall die! Yinglong, every bit as strong as the rumors say. This world is steeped in chaos. It needs one like you to bring peace to it. I cannot let you die. Badly wounded. Back to camp. Go. Forgive my rudeness earlier. A malicious soldier, are you? If so, would you kindly lend your courage to me? You scum! <laughs> This is our execution ground, didn't you know? <laughs> the Tianju Hermits will get no mercy. That goes for the women as well. Quickly! Find somewhere safe! You saved me. Thank you. You are lucky to be alive. However, I am not the one you should thank. My name is Hong Jing. And I've been investigating the Yellow Turbans. That jade is... <sighs> I must leave you now. I advise you to head to Guangzong, to the Yellow Turbans' headquarters. It would be an immense boost to the Imperial forces if you were to join the ranks. <laughs> would you mind taking me along? Hmm. Huh? <laughs> 
my brother's injury! <laughs> 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 Won't you stop, Yida? Don't be so reckless, Yida. These brave warriors saved my life. Huh? What? Mm. <laughs> my apologies. I got ahead of myself. <laughs> <sighs> okay. It's time to find out how strong you really are. How about we play a little game? Who can take out the most rebels? You or I? Lord General of Earth! The enemy is almost upon us. Please, my lord, order a retreat. Do not falter, for our mission is clear. To bring the world under the yellow heaven. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Those foolish enough to stand before us shall know true regret for their folly. <sighs> ha! He can blather oh. away in the afterlife now. Brother, you know what to do. <laughs> hmm? Come on, let's get it done. Uh, uh. <laughs> Dragon of Heaven, bear witness to our unshakable bond and unbreakable will. Corrupt officials, eh? That's good. I will do justice to them for what the law has not done. My dutiful blade has slain thousands of scoundrels. And yet there's no end to it. It's as if this war only claims the decent men, leaving nothing but scum. As true warriors, we are honor-bound to defend the innocent. I'll prove I'm no mere brawler. I want to see people smiling again, and I'll do what it takes so they can. With chivalry in our hearts, let our strength match that of the Chinlong itself. What a feeling! We've not done that since back at the Peach Orchard. Indeed. My soul has not been stirred like that for some time. Brother, you are unharmed. The Yellow Turban soldiers have left the area. Take the path behind the altar and go to Guansong. Hmm. We will follow and no doubt meet again. Assuming you don't get yourselves killed! Our oh, 10,000 men are pitted against 20,000. Have you a plan, Commandant Chow? Part of our forces will serve as bait and distract the enemy. Utilizing the diversion, a separate force will target Zhang Jiao. Not bad. But... How will we split their forces? Zhang Jiao is no fool. If he remains hmm. guarded... Hmm? Hmm? A secret route we discovered earlier. It's likely our best option. Hmm. <laughs> Excellent. What a wondrous turn of events. And I shall take this one with me. As you please. A tiger with prey in its sights won't be diverted after all. Come fight alongside me. 
And you might make a name for yourself. This victory is all yours this time. <laughs> Who is this strange person? <laughs> 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 Fear this chi. You are wasted as a militia soldier. <sighs> the Swan Clan strength rivals even that of a ferocious tiger. Our descendants are destined to establish their own dominance one day. But before that, we will have to deal with that malicious Chi. Who will cut through the darkness that engulfs this world? Will it be I? Or perhaps it will be you, my worthy rival. Commandant Chow must be told what happened here. I must make haste. Hmm. <sighs> this chaos, is it all his fault? Hmm. I need to let the Master know, right away. Will you join me? The stars illuminating the night sky tell us all about our fates. The star of Zhang Zhao, the leader of the Yellow Turban Rebellion that upturned our world, was extinguished along with his life. But war is not so easy to quell, and the stench of death yet rises from the earth. The source of destruction stems from the greed of the very men who swore to protect the land. And so, our brave heroes must stand once more against injustice. Back at last, Hong Jing. So it soon was worried, you know? It's not every day we get a visitor. Uh, yes, I know. But there's no time to explain now, sorry. Master! Master! Demon showed up on the mountain. He went to find out what's going on. Thank you for letting me know. I'm very worried. But we need to prepare properly if we're going up the mountain.
Uh, thank you for the help. <sighs> the body's internal sources of energy from which chi flows are known as elixir fields. Depending on its application, Qi can convert to either a genuine state or a demonic one. We hermits of Tianzhu, dwelling far from prying eyes in the mountains, harness genuine Qi to wield wizardly spells. We have tracked the course of man's destiny for countless ages. Yet we have now entered a time of ceaseless war that has flooded the land with demonic Qi and even allowed vile demons to roam unchecked. Fate intended for us to meet here. So I ask you, will you help me hunt down those responsible for this plague of demonic chi? Your chi is what will restore light to this age of darkness. Even by Zeus taking a liking to you, it seems. I never imagined I'd see this mountain overrun with demons. It goes to show that the demonic chi is still rife. Master! You shouldn't overexert yourself. Hearing you say that... <laughs> really makes me wish I was young again. Ah, I take it you have new information? <laughs> Let's return post haste. Hmm. I see. That explains why the yellow turbans had been infused with demonic chi. <sighs> this reminds me of something. I'm sure I had it somewhere around. Mm -mm -mm. Ah, here. Here we are. Elixir is formed of chi, and to create a genuine brew, an immense quantity is needed. A quantity near impossible to gather without a huge loss of life, such as that which is caused by war or disaster. Gathering it also requires a vessel, an elixir field housed within a human. But not just any. Only the elixir field of a descendant of a lineage blessed by dragons may prove sufficient. I think we can reasonably conclude that the genuine elixir is connected to the current disturbances. Master, have you any idea who the Taoist atop the dragon was? <laughs> There are more than a few Taoists who wouldn't flinch at such foul things. But to find out who it is, we may simply need to track down the source of demonic chi. <sighs> then our next destination is... The capital. There is a high official in Luoyang, regarding whom there are countless unsettling rumors. <laughs> Let's set off. <sighs> You must be careful. And keep an eye on Hongjin. <laughs> she has a reckless side. Perhaps it runs in the family. Oh? Oh. Uh, Chief uh, Eunuch Song uh, does not meet those who come without appointments. On your way with you! Uh, 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 come with me. Uh, uh, 
You're late, Amon. And who are they? You will enjoy this. They are the ones who took down Zhang Jiao, and I came upon them by chance, who would not be tempted to bring them along. Is that so? I'm Yun Shao, Colonel of the Central Army. I've known Cao Cao since he was a stripling. Hmm. Even the counselor's estate can approach Jiang Liang now. And yet, that doesn't mean nothing can be done. As I expected. So this well is a secret passage. Very well. I will lead the way. However, if this passage is blocked, there's no way back. We should leave a lookout here. I will be on watch. These corpses are fresh. Keep your eyes sharp. Here's narrow. I can see the prison further in. Thank you for saving my life. I am Jen of Zhongshan Commandery. <gasps> it is devoted to my protection. Please forgive its impoliteness. <sighs> Eunuch Zhang has been rounding up innocent people and stealing their life energy underground here. If this white snake had not guarded me, I too would be... Hmm. May I ask who you are? Colonel Yuan? The one who is favored so by the stars? What fate that we should meet here? Indeed. I am Yuan Shao. <clears throat> so, this is what the stars foretell then. <gasps> Ben Shu, I shall leave the young lady in your hands. We can't take her with us. Well... Don't let your guard down out there. <sighs> I have much to attend to. Who dares to disturb me? Greetings. It was Eunuch Zhang who spread the dubious elixir across the land, was it not? It seems you cannot talk your way out of conviction this time. <clears throat> so you have already thrown away your humanity. Have you no respect for your superiors, Cao Cao? To sneak into my manor and disturb my work. <clears throat> In return for your discourtesy, I shall just have to make do with your tea. Uh, 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 uh,
<laughs> you... You are... What... What is the meaning of... Wait... Just wait... What is it you desire? Your riches... Treasure... Women... Oh... I know... The elixir, yes? I'll give you half of all of it! <laughs> ah! With all this, I can finally forge an empire to last a thousand years. Looks like someone got here before us. This will bring forth a new wave of chaos on the land. If this is what has been destined, so be it. I shall just have to fight tooth and nail until the flames of chaos are quelled. shall not allow my status as a mere advisor to hold me back any longer. The House of Han is on its knees. It no longer has the power to unite the nation. That is why... I, Tiao Tiao, shall bring down the evils of old and bring peace and prosperity to the land. What is needed now is a tactical mind unimpeded by morality. If you wish for an ally to walk beside you through the ravages of war, simply call upon this unscrupulous hero. For like Ju Chue, we shall soar through the sky engulfed in righteous fire. War is upon us. I must leave the capital and begin preparations. Mengdu, we are always at your service. Looks like it's finally time for our men to get to work. Huh. The secret of the Elixir's whereabouts was taken by Zhang Rong with him to his grave. Elsewhere, Dong Zhou, a man whose ambition outweighs his conscience, brought the capital to its knees by force. Both Yuan Shao and Cao Cao suspected him to be connected to the Elixir and forged a plan to bring him down. These two great eminences lit the way and drew many together. They amassed a colossal force comprised of 18 separate armies to stand against Dong Zhuo. Soon. My name is Zhao Yun. Hail General Shu! It's not done yet! I will take the head of Hua Shang! Over, wait! You're too reckless! Now is the time to show the tenacious courage of the Swens. Charge! 
Ben Chu, victory is within our grasp. Hmm. Men, the time has come to make Dong Zhuo pay for his tyranny! All units attack! Yeah! <clears throat> hmm? I remember your face. Huh? Hmm? May glory find you once more on the battlefield today. <clears throat> Our foes are strong as well. Hmm. 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 You said your name was Hong Jin? Can I ask you to attend to the wounded? <laughs> you propose I flee? To Meiwu Fort with the elixir? My lord, I, Lu Bu, will hold the enemy back and buy you the time you need. You do that, Lu Bu. been sent to Meiwu Fort. and withdrawn to Meiwu Fort. Our capital of 200 years. My men and I are going after Dong Zhou, even if it's only us. You'll have to count me out on this one. Something urgent has come up. Wait a moment! Some of us must stay and help the people! Please, allow Jen to ask the same, my lord. The only one who can set this situation right. <gasps> Is you, my warrior. Hmm. Oh. You. Huh? I am glad you made it here. For in the moment of your death, I will allow you to bear witness. <laughs> to the power of a dragon's elixir field! <laughs> <laughs> Demonic chi of the entire land. Perhaps then the ultimate elixir can be forged. Thank you very much. Lord Yuan Shao is sure to be pleased as well. <sighs> no. 
The night will burn bright when a hero steps forward to quell the world's chaos. As one whose only strength is in contemplating the charts of the sky, all that I can do is offer you my interpretations of the stars, bestowing you some insight of what will come. Place me by your side, that I may ensure you do not stray from the path the stars have illuminated for you. I pray that the stars will offer you their clear guidance in this dark time. Thanks to you, the capital is safe. Now, let us get back to the others. The coalition has split right in half. It has become meaningless. In the end, people will prioritize their own desires. Friendship and the like are not to be trusted in. <clears throat> what a pitiful sight. Master! Now it's the south. A veil of demonic chi has descended upon Xiangyang. But the elixir remains a pressing concern. Hong Jing and I will take care of Dong Zhou, leaving you to head to Xiangyang if you're willing. <laughs> da Chao! <laughs> Your dear stepfather. He does so love his daughter, does he not? <laughs> oh. huh? General Soon is heading into the capital. Uh, what is the meaning of this? Perhaps something has happened. I did see... Father talking to a strange Taoist in the capital. Damn it, Father. He's hiding something. We must hurry after him. <clears throat> huh? Oh. Yes, brother. You're the one who was at Hulao Guan Pass. I've heard tales of you. I am Swen Chuen, the younger son of Swen Jian. Listen, something troubling is afoot. <clears throat> This is an ill omen. Could father have come to harm? <laughs> Don't talk nonsense! A tiger is not so simply hunted. Right? Father? <sighs> well, Tiger Sunshine, care to join me now? Tempt me all you may. I will not join forces with evil! Let Da Chao go! <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> 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 What's going on here? General Sun! General Sun, he is... <sighs> Father... Is that you? <laughs> Dad! Hold on! Father! This is what happens to those who disobey me. <laughs> Take heed for when the time comes for you to answer. You bastard! <laughs> Get back here! Curses!
Our father restrained us from completely losing ourselves to bloodlust. And then, in sacrificing his life, he set an example for all Swen descendants to follow. Our bloodline is not to give succor to the evildoers. We are to strengthen ourselves, and one day, bring order to this land. Your claws are not those of the tiger like ours. However, we want you present as we set off. And sail towards a bright future, as kings overseeing an era of prosperity for all. With our ship's helm adorned by that liar Taoist's severed head, has been elsewhere. You have surpassed me. Both of you. Grow strong and take care of your men. As commanders, you must be calm and collected. And Bofu, you are just like me. Always reckless. <laughs> <laughs> that man... He must be stopped. Dad! Father! It's Hong Jin. She's infiltrated Dong Zhou's forces alone. Would you go with me to Mei Wu Fort? A wonderful display. Tell me your name. Huh. Diao Chan. Mm. up my entertainment. In that case, I shall just have to improvise. With your dying screams! Hmm. <laughs> 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 
It has played on my mind ever since I saw you at Hulaguan Pass. But how could I forget how bravely you always held yourself? So, brother, why? Why do you stand with Dong Zhuo? You mistake me for another. Uh, hmm? Lu Bu! Uh, an assassin! Jia Chan, what perfect timing! You shall make a fine soldier. How dare you? You would betray me? Very well. The elixir is yours, Lubu. <sighs> Go before things get out of hand. Brother! Don't worry about me. Zhong Liao, take her away. Time to leave. <laughs> Please, wait! <sighs> what will he do with the elixir? I simply follow General Lu's orders. Please, this way. You. you saved me yet again. I had to make sure. But at last I'm convinced. <sighs> he was the person I always wanted to be like catch up to, and then he left without a farewell. I need to know why he set his sights on the elixir. Otherwise, I'll never be able to get things back to normal. Seeing you fearlessly face up to the demonic tea has given me determination. It may take force to get the truth out of him. But there's no one he would tell other than me. I will never give up. For when it comes to being stubborn, even my brother cannot best me. To think he survived. I... I hope the day will come when we can train together once more. And so, yet another star falls over Mei Wu Fort. After defeating Dong Zhuo, Lu Bu took the elixir and turned his back to the fort. The elixir was now in the hands of the strongest warrior in the entire land. Cao Cao, fearing what Lu Bu might be capable of, deployed his forces to bring him down. However, he lost Pu Yang to his adversary and found himself on the back foot as Lu Bu's forces struck back. Make way! We must retake Puyang! You're fighting well, but stay sharp! You are young! You 
live up to your name, Lu Bu. Is this all the great Cao Cao can muster? Huh. You went wrong. Hold back for now. We've taken Pu Yang back once more! The wretch Lu Bu managed to slip away. Huh. Fled with his tail between his legs. Huh? Are you a Shao soldier? Huh? <laughs> 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 You and Yang! You and Yang! Curses! What should we do? Stand back, Miao Tai. The Shao Duan I know is not the sort of man to give up so easily. <laughs> Wherever our army bravely charges, we've been there to give our blades in support. It's up to us, the Shaho clan, to guide Lungda on the path to victory. My arrow will pierce any who dare to raise their blade to him. He's like a brother to us! But your genuine chi is formidable. You knocked sense into me when I was in my demonic rage. So maybe you'll not be needing my bow, huh? It's no mystery why boss rates you so highly. We'd follow you into death's abyss without hesitation. We'll ensure he commands over all the land. You just watch. Looks like I owe you one. <laughs> Glad to have you back. I couldn't die before seeing you end the chaos across the land. <laughs> the flag of the Lubu army has been raised at Xiaopei City Tower. Hmm. That Lubu. Ever impatient to bite at his next prey. <laughs> I've heard that Xiao Pei was stripped from you, in Xuanta's absence. <clears throat> it was... It was the booze! Otherwise, they would have never... <clears throat> Did I not warn you enough times? <clears throat> it's my fault! <clears throat> I will redeem myself... <clears throat> by offering up this lie! You clumsy <clears throat> fool! Hmm. Yida. Do not be so ready to throw your life away. Remember the oath we took. Brother. If you were to die, I too would follow you in death. Then I, Zhang Fei! We'll take back Zhao Pei single-handedly! I won't fail you again! Yida, just calm down for a moment. I shall accompany you. And I too. Your mistakes 
are our mistakes, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Brothers, let's shake the ground beneath their feet. <laughs> <laughs> Will you lend us your hand as well? I am thankful to have an ally with such compassion and honor as yourself. A warrior risks his life for his duty. I will not step down. For what purpose do you wager your life? <clears throat> Defeat the enemy general, Zhang Liao! Why are you... I've roamed this land with Bixia, honing my blade in search of what makes a warrior. Now, I think I have finally come upon an answer. We may lose our lives in battle, but we shall never lose our spirit. A warrior fights for something that they can't bear to lose. I looked up to General Liu. He was a true warrior among warriors. If my life were to end today, I'd leave no regrets. Except maybe wishing that I had known another warrior of such high caliber was in our midst. Sheathe your weapons. You would not stand in my way, if not for a good reason. Killing you will be regrettable. How about you? Surrender and serve the Imperial Court. Have mercy on my men. Then I will pledge allegiance with no objection. Lu Bu is making a final stand at Sha Pi. You had best come with us. Wait. My brother is... I am a man of honor, so I can't tell you everything now. Attack! Send Sha Pi into the depths! Yes, my lord! It would appear, Minister Tao, that you have many talented men serving you. However, why does Lu Bu not use the elixir? Hmm? Huh? What? What? The sound? Water! It's a flood attack! At last. You stand against impossible hardship. So then why? Why not use the elixir? I... 
I was waiting... ...for this moment! <laughs> the blight of the elixir. It all ends here. And now... I knew immediately that I had to destroy Yuji after finding out this chaos was his doing. A Taoist spreading a vile elixir and controlling demons has no right to tread this land. I could not allow the people of my village, who made me who I am, or my one and only flesh and blood, to get caught up in this madness. That is why I left my village and pledged a false allegiance to Dong Zhuo to infiltrate their forces. I hoped to track Yuji's actions. I swallowed my pride and did their bidding. I brought the elixir to Meiwu Fort and was able to prevent it from spreading among the lords. Yet, I was still unable to pin down Yuji. So, in my desperation, I risked everything. I stole the elixir. I figured if I sat on it without using it myself, he would eventually show his face. And it worked. But... I came one step short. You bested me. Perhaps you can take Yuji down. The responsibility of bringing an end to the spread of demonic chi is in your hands now. Involved. He fought a long, hard, and lonely fight. Shu province, but many of our other cities have fallen to Yuan Shao as well. And I don't know where my brothers are. General Guan, hmm? if you have no objections, how about staying with Minister Cao for the time being? 
It will not be easy for you to search for General Liu until these enemy forces are defeated. Hmm. I could see General Yuan star falling. And three new stars have risen up. What might this portend? Yuan Shao suddenly heads south toward Cao Cao's territory and steals the elixir that Lu Bu had been safeguarding. Yuan Shao now commanded an army of demons, striking fear into the hearts of many and allowing him to secure footholds across the land. With tiredness and fear spreading among his men, Cao Cao faced crushing odds, but his star burned yet brightly. He roused his loyal army and went out on an all-or-nothing attack. Shao's forces have taken the Yanjin fort. <sighs> Our vanguard heading for Baima has been taken out by the enemy generals Yan Liang and Wen Chou. You have treated me with such kindness. Allow me to return the favor, Minister Cao. I shall bring you the enemy commander's head. How many men will you need? I will need just one. Hmm. <laughs> Yuan Xiao's forces are strong. Be careful. So, milady, what did the stars tell you now? We shall only know when this battle is through, my lord. There's one primary strategic point on the river crossing here in Baima. The one who takes it can prevent enemy reinforcements. Exactly. Cao Cao will do everything in his power to cover his losses. However, our goals are different. We must find the Taoists who killed our father. Cao Cao's army has reached Baima. I want Shao Man's head now. Yes, my lord. We will do whatever it takes. Do you hear me? Let none say we lack forces anymore! Magnificent. <laughs> now we've taken Baima back. Yunchang. It's spring. A fine season to set out on a journey. <laughs> In Yanjin. Some are saying that Qinlong descended from heaven. And that he has been imprisoned by a human. Can it be that my brother is there? Why not visit this rumored location and find out what is going on? We've brought the horse that was tethered in the stable. 
<laughs> Red hair. It's alive. It can travel a thousand miles a day. But it is said that it chooses its master. <laughs> <laughs> it seems there was nothing to worry about. I should have expected nothing less. Just a small gift. You may set out on your journey now, Yunchang. Without fail, I, Gwen Yu, shall repay this favor someday. Yeah! <clears throat> I hear Yanjin Fort is already a den of demons. Will you lend Yunchang your aid? Hmm. Yeah. By the Azure Dragon Crescent Glaive, I swear it! What can I say? I believe you then. What a pitiful sight. Where are your precious sworn brothers now? Where are your allies? <laughs> you understand, surely. Bonds are as useful as they are ephemeral. And yet, I still choose to believe in the strength of my brothers. <laughs> Brother! You and Shao! Don't you touch him, you cur! <laughs> you are all bound together in life! And so too you will be in death! <laughs> so, either forget about me! Run! <laughs> What's happened to you? <sighs> Brother! Brother! Come to your senses! My heart was true, yet I lacked the strength to carry out what needed to be done. We who were born apart shall die together. That was my oath to Yunchong and Yida, and so we made our first step out into the world. I have fought hard and lost so very much, nearly even my life. But even in my darkest moments of despair, there was one thing I never lost. The belief in my brothers. You showed me my beliefs were not misplaced. And so, 
with even stronger bonds to support me. I shall continue to strive forward. of you and my brothers here quelled the raging demonic chi within me. I will always remember what you've done. I will have to find a way to repay you. I know. Why don't we watch the Blossoms? I know a good spot for it. Sounds good to me. But our battle is far from over. <clears throat> you and Xiao would have all the land fall under the thrall of his demonized army. There was. An unearthly sky mm. reaching over Guan Du. Are you saying that's Yuan Shao's mm. doing? It is only by your hands now that this tyrannical rampage can be halted. <clears throat> we will do what we can here. Return to Minister Xiao. We must do everything in our power to stymie the ambitions of Yuan Shao. Hmm. Zhong Mo, our aim is set. We ride into Guantu Fort to take his head. Oh? So <clears throat> then, that's your answer. You. <laughs> <laughs> I need only one who bears the blood of the Sun lineage. Those who disobey me shall receive a similar fate. Brother! Elder brother! Join me! Or follow your father and brother into hell. Now, what will you do, Sun Chuan? To the last indeed. I command you all! Defeat Yuan Shou! And end this war! Hm. You truly believe to have me cornered? How mistaken you are. The power to control this world lies in none other than... This resplendent crimson glow! <laughs> My father was highly respected for his official rank. I too held him in great regard. Yet he willingly set me off as an adopted son, severing the bond between father and son. 
After spending time with Amon, my trust in the bond between people was somewhat restored. However, when those who I considered friends left me as I stood before my capital in flames, my fragile notions of those bonds were shattered. All that I could cling to was the power I drew from the Crimson Glow. In the end, even that was not sufficient to lead me to victory. I can scarcely believe that a true bond holds so strong and shines so brightly as this. I suppose I ought to thank you. You're late, Aman. <laughs> Finish your conquest without delay, and prove that bonds truly do have value. Ben Chu, in death you will be a star. So watch over me to the very last. <sighs> Gather up. All of the elixir here. I'm leaving the rest to you. This far, I dare say, the fates favor you greatly. How about it? Help me forge the ultimate elixir and join me in immortality. We'll put an end to your evil scheme! Hong Jian! Lend me your aid! <laughs> Immobilize the dragon! <laughs> <laughs> You would refuse my offer. So be it. Then become a sacrifice on my path! So have pushed me this far. Ultimate elixir rests out of my reach yet. But you have given me no choice! <laughs> <laughs> has come to this! Forged of chaos, born on this land! Upon this elixir, I offer my life and be reborn!
It's over. At last. My brother can rest in peace. <laughs> Well, we will leave the rest to you and head back. I'll make sure to come and see how you're doing. Elixir to merge with Zhe Long, and the strength of our pact returned me to human form. <laughs> that had an unexpected effect. The dragon's elixir field is now inside my body. <laughs> I am grateful to you. And as a reward... <sighs> Every last one of you shall perish by my hand. Dragon's Elixir Field become known. And so, I sealed off my eyes and the terrible power within them. Yuji drained my body's energy in his effort to create an ultimate elixir. However, I resisted and prevented his dark power from controlling me totally. It was my belief in you that allowed me to do this. Seeing you bravely fight on, Never losing faith in your allies for a moment has given me the courage to now open my eyes. Picture his beaming face now. <laughs> With Zudong's help, we're a hundred strong! Brothers, let us renew our oath. Nah! <clears throat> to do all in our power. As brothers, sharing one heart, caring for each other, and aiding those in need. We will support the Han court. And bring peace to the commoners! <clears throat> Aim north! I see our men are well trained, Gong Jing. My lord, 
I assure you, the enemy shall rest upon the riverbed. On to the next target! Father. Brother. Bear witness upon me. For the future of the Swen Clan. Finally, we're going to the south. It seems peace is not that far. That said, the recently appointed Sumayi seems to be highly regarded. A forbidden power. You're leaving? <laughs> There's demonic chi that needs quelling. Will you be coming? I will stay here. With these eyes that discern fate, I must forge the next era.